the deal. Uh, back in the day, I was part of the gothic punk scene. And I guess as part of that, there were many opportunities where I'd been invited to be part of their rituals. Skeptical about whether they actually worked, um, but scared if they did, I actually chose not to be a part of it. For many times, I just kept making excuses until one night. And I guess this might just freak me out because it was the beginning of the journey. So here's what happened that night. We uh, ended up going in an area called Johannesburg, Hillbrow, Nugget Hill, Nugget Street, a very, very steep hill. And um, at the top of the hill is this patch of bare land. And we all congregated there and um, the group of leaders started to instruct those who were going to be part of the game to uh, be thinking about what spells they were going to be casting and where they were going to be casting them and very much saying these are the areas that I want you to concentrate on. And up until that point nothing seemed odd to me until their next comment which was don't waste time doing that apartment don't waste time on that block of flats those are consecrated to God those are God's strongholds uh, that street is God's stronghold you'll see angels over there around that house don't waste your time there they have been consecrated to God and I came away from that moment absolutely amazed at the concept of these people so believed in God that night. They even almost respected that which was his and the astounding thing for me was yeah they were believing in God but they chose to worship Satan. It never ceases to amaze me how many people choose to live like they don't believe there is a war for their worship. There is a war for their allegiance. There is a war for our lives. That night, I made a choice. I realized I was living in Satan's dark world and I had a choice. These people believed in God and I guess it was my choice to go and find the light. And that's where my journey for searching for God begins. So here's what I do know. I do know that there is a spiritual war. I do know that there is a battle for our souls every minute of the day. It is more real than many of us would choose to believe and not believing it doesn't take it away, it doesn't say there is no war, it simply leaves a gap for Satan to swoop in and take authority in our lives. So I get to ask myself after that experience and after realizing that the war is so real, what are the strongholds that I'm holding on to? that I need to give up into the dominion of God.